we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back <laughs> like he did. Yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. On first down, it's Smith. And an alley to run. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him six on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Play action. Here's Smith. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have them set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't it? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. Steps away. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. He had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. Eluding the pressure. And the Vikings are in for the touchdown. Now four bath for the extra point. And it's 21 to 3. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Four bath out to kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. Back onto the field come the Kansas City Chiefs. As they look back to this last year, disappointment ultimately in how the season ended, Charles, no doubt. It was a weird year, though. The, the great start, the weird middle, and then the strong end. And every team in the NFL documents their season with a year-end, you know, video, movie about the season. This is going to be a tale of three seasons for the Kansas City Chiefs, isn't it? Yeah. How about the start? And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. And the Vikings pick up the football. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Here's Bradford. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Throwing, Bradford. The left side caught by Diggs. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. First down, Bradford. And no 
escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Derek Johnson coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Bradford now. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Third and long for Bradford. And he's got Kyle Rudolph. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. It's a gain of nine yards, and it'll be second and about a yard. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Again, it's Bradford that escapes the sack. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Justin Houston in there to take him down and to take us to the two-minute warning. We're just two minutes away from sending you to Orlando for Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report, so don't forget about that. Coming up shortly. Yeah, it wouldn't be a halftime without him, and we thank him for doing the highlights. Let's go get a snack. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way down the field, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up four. Now Bradford on fourth down. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Adam Thielen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. Now, he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is... over. So they're going to go for two. Tight, guys, tight. 
to throw is Bradford. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. Four bath out to kick this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now. And they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well. And they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. And he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Don't you just love advanced stats? For Alex Smith last season, 2.38 seconds from the snap so the ball was out of his hand. He's Fast, quick. Fastest of any quarterback in the league. Another instance right there. job there of keeping the toes inbounds. The completion good for three and it's second down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Here's Smith now on second down. Over the middle here to Wilson. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That catch good for five. It's third down. What terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Smith going to throw on third and one. And able to find Conley. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Spencer Ware, the intended target. And now it's second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Second down following the incompletion. Hey, 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 hey. Now Smith. Throwing again. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back in the... 